when we're practicing, we're going to practice on the part of the chasm where there's a little bit of adoption. That's why we practice and sell for CS183S Lecture 5 uh, in that portion of the chasm where there's no need, uh, well, maybe some need because it's Main Street, and we're just dealing with no trust. So we're practicing by selling something that exists. Uh, so in theory, there's a need. In, in, in the real world, there's a need. But we're just adapting to the fact that uh, people that we're selling to don't trust us. Thus, we are practicing selling something that exists. Thus, we're selling something that we did not ourselves code. The whole no need, no trust uh, is theoretical and it's uh, maybe theorem ethical where it's exemplified by a bicycle on the rear wheel it's no need the front wheel is no trust that's what that bicycle model is so in lectures cs183s lectures one two three and four and of course well maybe not of course you don't know this yet but in lectures six seven eight and nine we're selling things that we ourselves did not code this is lecture five and we're examining the future where we will be selling something that we made and that's where uh the bicycle model is is a framework for no need no trust and no momentum that's that diagram so draw it out and keep it the bicycle model is critical uh, inside of CS183S Lecture 5, in that Peter Thiel talks about a critical problem where sometimes Y is zero. And Y is the value... Brady! <laughs> why is the zero? Why is, should be greater than zero? I know. Brady's up in arms because when Y is zero, us founders get screwed. X is the value of the company, and Peter Thiel argued in his... Uh, book and his class CS183 is that X and Y are not correlated. They're causated where as founders who sell and promote, we can exact and get excited as Brady is where we can actually drive up the Y value so that we, we don't get screwed. CS183S lecture five handles a more intellectual concept that's helping you get the scope for uh, what's going on within uh, sales and selling. So the reason it's intellectual is that I'm gonna expand on uh, no need, no trust, and no momentum. And when I'm talking about no need, no trust, these are all things for when you yourselves have something that uh, you coded that you're actually selling your own product. So. To set that aside, that's the end goal, obviously, is to be able to sell your own product, to sell something that you coded, where your sales skills are so strong that you're not going to uh, just cut, curl up into a little ball for when you hear, oh, something's going wrong, something's not going great. So, so no need, no trust, no momentum is part of the bicycle model which is this. So this is the bicycle model, whereas no need is the portion that's driving and no trust is the front wheel of your bicycle. Front wheel of the bicycle is no trust and that's what CS Lecture 4 is meant to do is to handle when you unearth a need, you discover a need, but then on the front part of the bicycle there's no trust. So that's what lecture four is getting you to do, is to help you understand uh, building trust with something that you did not sell. So that was lecture four with being Googleable, uh, giving them one throat to choke, um, taking abuse. These are all things that you're building upon for lecture four, which is why lecture five is somewhat intellectual, because you're theorizing, oh, if I had my own product, uh, how do I battle no need and no trust and no momentum? And this specifically is uh, briefly brushstroked by a Mark Sister blog post uh, that's also no need, no trust, and which I've also embedded uh, on Twitter and also on the the lecture notes on WordPress. So. So when you're dealing with 
the initial portion of of practicing uh, CS one eight three S practicing selling, uh, you're in essence uh, selling on the part of the chasm where that that straight vertical the where you're crossing the chasm. There's a little sliver of a vertical, so that is CS one eight three lectures one two three and four. CS one eight three lecture five handles and solves the problem of the Peter Thiel slide from CS 183 Lecture 5, which is when a startup creates a value of X. And that value of X uh, is X. Now, the startup gets to extract Y percent of the X, whereas X and Y have no corollary. And what Peter is trying to explain, which maybe I've uh, glossed over kind of quickly in the X equals this, Y equals that, is that oftentimes, this is a conclusion, oftentimes Y equals zero. And that's a huge problem for us engineers because if we don't sell, some finance or econ major is going to sell it for us and determine and control our money and our financial reward. Whereas if we create a business of X value, we should have Y not be zero. Where Y has typically been zero a lot of times. Where we as an engineer create a business and we don't get any wealth out of it. And that's that's what's interesting about CS183S. That's what's interesting about all the CS classes that are CS183, that are about entrepreneurship that Stanford Engineering hosts and produce. The reason for it is that since the beginning of time, engineers have sort of been getting screwed by business people. And when we ourselves are become business, and that's why Y Combinator is such a, such a force, is that it's engineering driven. It's engineering at the top, it's engineers as VCs, uh, it's engineers acting as VCs, whereas I believe that engineers are the new VCs because, because engineering and the ability to make something uh, is your value. So engineers are incredibly valuable, and then they have to determine and they have to get pitched uh, as far as what's a good startup for them to go work at because it's half cash, half equity, right? So, so... This is part of the rise of why entrepreneurship is in computer science. This is part of the rise of what happens when engineers uh, go into business and drive. This is also an indication and a trend for CS major CRO, the initials for Chief Revenue Officer. Uh, what's also part of this tide that's rising is not having to hire a VP of sales or not having to hire an MBA to become our boss. And that's a huge also new trend where startup death spiral is I think lecture two where Stephen Blank talks about how initially you can't delegate the function of selling. So two to five CS major founders, all of you guys will code all you guys will promote. And that's also why I believe CS183S has picked up this following, is that CS183S selling is the, the new happenstance for when a CS major not only codes, but also sells. So look into the, the Mark Sister blog post, No Need, No Trust, No Momentum. Uh, put the bicycle diagram up on a wall where the back wheel is no need, the front wheel is no trust, and then you've got momentum of deals. And so that'll be a good uh, goal or visual goal for when you are actually selling your own product. And then lectures six, seven, and eight, lectures one, two, three, and four, if you haven't seen those, I encourage you to look at those. That's where you're actually selling and promoting things that you did not code. You're actually selling things that currently exist that you will tweak. And that's the sequence of those of those graphical pictures uh, that are helping us as engineers 
sell and promote.